Greetings, my name is Slight, and I'm going to teach you the most consistent way to beat Solo Reincarnation 8. Let's do it. Begin by picking Lay Low the Tiger. Reroll your Spiritual Remnant Blessing until you get Lightning Messenger, or if you're a big boy like me, you can go for the Chain Lightning 50% Shock Chance Gifted Man Talent and get Lightning from the Void as soon as possible. Next up, we need to find ourselves a powerful fire damage weapon with a high burning elemental effect chance. We're going to use this weapon as a vehicle to apply manipulation. This fusion effect is by far the best fusion effect in R8 at the moment, as threat reduction is incredibly powerful. The best weapon for this is the Flame Dragon. With its high rate of fire and high burning application chance, it does a very good job at applying manipulation to enemies. Not only that, but because the Flame Dragon's projectiles pass through enemies with infinite amount of piercing, enemies that naturally group up because they are manipulated tend to take gobs of AoE damage from your never-ending firestorm. Other weapons that will work well if they have increased elemental effect chance inscriptions are, in order of effectiveness, Laser Gloves, Scorching Rounds, and Piercing Flames. Other weapons that will work well if they have the Fire Damage Rare Inscription are, in order of effectiveness, Illusions, Angelic Aura, Scalpel, Sunder, Woodpecker, and Argus, because of their naturally high accuracy and ability to apply elemental effects. Any elemental effect chance increase will make these weapons even better candidates. Once you have any sufficient Fire Damage weapon, you're going to rush a Crit X Gemini combined with a Sniper Rifle as soon as possible. This will allow the weapon to do insane damage, all while rendering most enemies absolutely inept. Most importantly, because manipulation is useless on bosses and elites, you need this Crit X Gemini to be able to take those bosses and elites down quickly. If you go for a triple elemental build, you may find that you will struggle a lot on bosses. This combination can be built upon in many ways, but this forms the crux of by far the most consistent way to beat R8 that I currently know of. I hope this helps. Best of luck in your next runs.